This is kind of going under the radar, but Baidu has recently dropped two impressive models and they are coming after the big players in the AI industry. Allow me to introduce Ernie 4.5 and Ernie X1. Ernie 4.5 being a natively multimodal model that outperforms GPT 4.5 at just 1% of the cost. Ernie X1 is Baidu's first reasoning AI model that is matching DeepSeek's R1 performance at half the price. And this is just crazy to see that we have two impressive models that are cost efficient. Ernie 4.5 achieves performance quite well in multiple modalities where it's exhibiting comprehensive improvements in understanding, generation, reasoning, and memory, along with notable enhancements in hallucination prevention, logical reasoning, and even coding abilities. The X1 is a reasoning model that showcases insane performance for a model that is even cheaper than DeepSeek R1. In regards to the pricing, these models are really cost efficient while outperforming state-of-the-art models. For example, the Ernie 4.5 is priced at $0.55 cents for 1 million input tokens and $2.20 for 1 million output tokens, which is drastically cheaper than GPT 4.5's pricing structure. In regards to the X1 pricing, it is 50% of the price of DeepSeek R1, where it is priced at $0.28 cents for 1 million input tokens and $1.10 for 1 million output tokens. Now the best part is, Baidu is going to be making this model open source later in the year from June 30th, which is just awesome. Now, both of these models are freely accessible to all Ernie Bot users, and you can easily create an account completely for free. And this is where we're going to be assessing this model on these benchmarks. We have four benchmarks to assess the Ernie 4.5, and then the other four to assess the reasoning model, which is the X1. Now, this is where we're asking it different prompts in different categories from coding, math, all the way to logical reasoning and problem solving. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. So let's get started. Make sure you select the Ernie 4.5 and this is where we're sending in this first prompt to build a responsive web app which is to help us track our monthly income and expenses. This is a coding prompt that will showcase how well this model is in terms of generating code and generating a functional app for us. What I really like about Ernie Chatbot is that you have the ability to use different modalities. You can upload documents, upload images, audio, as well as videos. So you get a good flexibility in working with different modalities, as well as having online search. And there we go. We have a functional personal finance tracker app that it was capable of generating. I had copied all the three code snippets that it had generated and pasted into a folder. But let's test this out. Where let's say we have an expense today and the amount is $500. Let's select the category. Let's not say food or would be pretty fat, but let's say entertainment and then add the expense. And you can see this is a functional app that it was capable of showcasing the visualization of our expenses and income. Overall, this was capable of generating this functional tracker app. So this is definitely a pass. Next up, we're going to have it create the game of life in Python. So this is Conway's game of life. And we're essentially trying to see how well it is in terms of implementation of grid based simulation, as well as efficient state updates and rendering. So once that's finished generating this game, I'll then open it up so that we can visualize the simulation. So I have now copied the code into a Python file, but let's open it up to see if this is functional. And there we go. It has created the game of life and this is definitely a pass. Next up, we're going to have it create an SVG representation of a butterfly with symmetrical wings and simple styling. Now, if you guys have been watching my videos, this is possibly one of the hardest prompts for any large language model to actually generate an accurate butterfly in SVG code. So let's see if this model is capable of doing this. Essentially, we're trying to see how well the model is in terms of vector programming with SVG design. So it has finished generating the SVG code and we're going to go over to this SVG viewer and paste it in. And there we go. Surprisingly, we have gotten a really good butterfly that actually has designs on the wing. So this is actually really nice because it was able to uh, make sure that there was symmetry and made sure that it generated the antenna. 
but the body i guess isn't the best but overall it is a good clip art of an svg code of a butterfly and that is definitely a pass now just to give you context only a handful of models have been capable of generating an svg representation of a butterfly like claude 3.7 sonnet gemini 2.5 pro and just a few others but this is great to see that ernie 4.5 is capable of doing this now guys this is something that is just a side note but this is a model that can work with different modalities for example i'm uploading an image and i'm asking it could you please explain it and you can see right now it's using its vision reasoning capabilities to talk about the benchmarks on the x-axis and then it will later go on and talk about the y-axis next up we're requesting it to identify and fix the logical errors that it is able to find within this python function and essentially we're looking for it to debug it it's going to work on identifying the logic errors in loops as well as the conditions and essentially i want it to provide the correct python code which it did provide it was able to fix it and it was able to address the issues and then explained it afterwards at the bottom so this was actually correct so let's go ahead and give this a pass now for the next four prompts we're going to be using the x1 model because these are for reasoning prompts to assess how well this model is in terms of problem problem solving reasoning and logical deduction so let's go over and send in this first prompt which states that train a leaves city a at 8 a.m heading towards city b which is 500 kilometers away at a constant speed of 70 kilometers an hour when do the trains meet and secondly i'm asking how far from city a do they meet this is a simple word problem we're trying to see its reasoning capabilities and you can see right now it is thinking and showcasing its action process now before i showcase the answer just take a look at the thinking and action process you can see how much it reason to get the correct answer which is just incredible where it is using its reasoning capabilities to make sure it gives you the correct answer and the best part is it's 50 percent cheaper than deepseek r1 and it comes to a conclusion that both of the trains will meet at 11:59 a.m which is 100 percent correct and it also gives you the approximate kilometers which is 261.3 from city a which is definitely correct so this is definitely a pass and it's great to see that this model was capable of doing this quite correctly and quite quickly next up we're asking a farmer has a triangular field sides with 13 meters 14 meters and 15 meters he wants to divide it into two equal areas and essentially i'm asking it to find the length of the dividing line now this is where we're trying to see how well the model is in terms of solving geometric equations using Huron's formula as well as triangle properties and I want it to actually apply the formula and find the area of the triangle using angle bisector theorem or even median theorem so let's see what it ends up generating for us and after it does provide me the correct answer which is 12 meters so I'm just really happy to see that it is reasoning really well to solve this problem and it uses the correct formulas to actually get there the next prompt we're asking it a library needs to purchase instructional materials totaling to 250 dollars they need to purchase workbooks at 12 dollars each educational app licenses at 35 dollars each and science kits at 55 dollars each they must purchase at least one of each type of the item and we're trying to have it focus on setting up equations for integer solutions it's actually a uh, integer solution but it is going to work on finding different combinations to get the correct answer to see how many different options there are to total exactly 250 so let's see if this model is capable of doing this now this was probably the most lengthiest answer in terms of reasoning and it was able to come to a conclusion stating that there is no combination of workbooks apps and kits that equal up to the given amount which is 250 and that is the correct answer it was able to provide us different equations for integer solutions even though it wasn't able to find the right combination and it applied brute force to find a valid set so this is quite impressive so let's go and give this a pass and lastly this prompt is focusing on logical deductive reasoning which is where we're trying to ask it a town has two types of people you have truth tellers who always tell the truth and liars who always lie you must be able to tell apart who the three people are there is a b and c and there's a couple of scenarios i've written which you can read over here where it says you meet three people a b c 
A says B is a liar, B says C is a truth teller, C says A and B are different people. Determine who the truth teller is and the liar is and explain your reasoning step by step. And essentially what we're trying to do is identify contradictions in the statement that I had sent in and we're trying to see if the model can identify that and use logical reasoning and consistency in analyzing these statements. So let's see what it ends up giving us. And there we go. It was able to logically figure out the correct answer where it states that A is the liar, which is correct. B is the truth teller and C is also the truth teller. And lastly, let's go ahead and give this a pass. So uh, both of these models, the Ernie 4.5 and the X1 did an amazing job in all of these different difficult tests. We can see that it did a great job from coding to math all the way to logical reasoning. And it just goes to show how impressive this model is. Robert Lee, who is the CEO of Baidu, had also emphasized that the cost reduction and the continuous innovation are crucial for AI scalability and real world impact. So by improving efficiency and automation, the AI itself can drive broader adoption and economic benefit, which is why I've really loved Baidu for releasing this model and making it open source later on this year. And that basically concludes today's video. Make sure you subscribe to the newsletter, make sure you join our private discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos so that you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.